In our internet age, information flows at ever faster speeds over wireless and through wires. How fast can we send information? Does information have a speed limit? From physics, we know that nothing can travel faster than light. There is a limit to how fast water can flow through a tube depending upon its properties. But first, we have to answer a more basic question. We can measure the quantity of water. How do we measure the quantity of information? Bits? What does that mean? Suppose I flip a coin and you want to know whether I got tails, that is 1, or heads, we'll call it 0. To get your information, you need to ask only one question. Is it 1? If the answer is yes, you hear and you know I got 1 or tails. If you hear nothing, then you know I got 0 or heads. So we can think of the measure of information in a single coin toss as being one yes or no question. Let's call this one bit. If I flip two coins, will that double the information to two questions, two bits? Not quite. There's a 25% chance of getting heads heads, which is zero, 25% chance of tails tails or two, and a 50% chance of one as heads tails or tails heads. You could first ask, is it one? There's a 50% chance you will hear and you're done. Else, you ask the second question. Is it two? Could be yes or no. Half the time you can get away with just one question and half the time you need two questions. So on average, you need to ask only one and a half questions. By questioning based on the probability of outcomes, we compress your information. This enables music and videos on our phones. Since every question has two possible answers, the number of answers equals 2 to the power of the number of questions. Therefore, the number of questions equals logarithm to the base 2 of the number of answers. Let's go back to our first tabla sound as an answer. There's always background noise. This gets overlaid on our sound signal. This noise band creates a lower limit to what we can hear. In between, we can fit in additional sounds, each of which is an answer to a yes or no question. For a noise band of width n, the maximum number of answers we can fit in would be s plus n divided by n. Therefore, the maximum number of questions we can answer equals log base 2 of that. This is the maximum information that we can pack in a single instance. The faster we play, the more instances per second. Our playing rate is called the channel bandwidth. This is the fundamental speed limit for information. Called the Shannon limit, it was first derived in 1948 by Claude Shannon.